Without objection, the gentleman from Rhode Island is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, Washington's failure to replace sequestration is imposing real penalties on families all across our country. This week, in my home state of Rhode Island, more than 3,000 civilian Department of Defense employees at the Naval Undersea Warfare Center and the U.S. Naval War College were furloughed, imposing the equivalent of a roughly 20 percent pay cut through the end of the fiscal year. And it doesn't stop there. Sequestration is expected to cost the American economy 750,000 jobs this year alone, according to the Congressional Budget Office. Americans have had enough of dysfunction, gridlock, and political posturing between Democrats and Republicans in Washington. It's time for Congress to start getting things done for working families. And that's why I'm calling on the House Republican leadership to immediately bring H.R. 2060 to the House floor for an up or down vote so we can replace sequestration with smart, targeted spending cuts and new sources of revenue by eliminating subsidies for big oil companies and closing tax loopholes for corporations that ship American jobs overseas. Common sense solutions that all of us in this chamber should agree on. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and yield back to the balance of